Seven years ago, there wasn't a single food bank in the northeast of England, but now they're helping hundreds of families in crisis each week across our region. Here in Sunderland, the demand for food banks is continuing to increase as families from across the city come to food banks like this one here in Sunderland. I've come along to one Sunderland food bank to find out exactly what goes on. I've got some jam, some chocolate. The food bank at City Life Church in Sunderland has been gone for just under a year. But packing food parcels for vulnerable families is becoming a regular occurrence for these volunteers. Last year, 1,332,952 free day food parcels were handed out to people in crisis across the UK. But with jobs becoming harder to come by, things will only get worse. The whole point of what we do is to get food to the most deprived people in the city. Um, so we're a crisis intervention service. We give out three day food parcels um, for people who are struggling for some sort of reason. Um, they've got themselves an emergency and that could be any of us. Um, we're all two pay slips away from a food bank and we work with over 60 official referral agencies. So people like doctors and schools, um, health services, the council, things like that. And they um, come in um, and then those clients can come along to our food banks. Here at this food bank, there's around 12 tons of household goods, which have all been donated by locals, businesses and churches to support families across Wearside. Between January 2017 and January 2018, 64,209 three-day food parcels were handed out to families over the northeast of England, with a further 22,981 food parcels being handed out between April and September 2018. The main reasons that people come to use the food banks is um, low income, benefit changes or benefit delays. So we're seeing with Universal Credit, the five week waiting period um, was causing a lot of issues for people because they weren't able to, they, they have no money for five weeks um, and then suddenly they, they're given monthly payments rather than weekly payments. So it's a whole new kind of budgeting. So we've, see, we've seen people struggle with Universal Credit but more and more we're seeing low income families um, struggling to make ends meet because maybe mum or dad's on a zero hour contract um, so they don't get work that week so they don't get paid that week um, and as a result people are coming to use food banks more and more but these food banks in Sunderland couldn't run without the 60 volunteers who spend their days and nights at food banks across Sunderland making sure families get all the goods they need just to see that we're helping people is a massive, massive plus. You know, we have people from all different walks of life. There isn't one particular person that comes to a food bank. And so we have found that in even the, the few months that we have been operating, we've found that we are serving people in the community. Um, it helps ourselves. You know, as we encourage other people, we feel as if we're making a difference, giving them some worth back, helping them practically with a food parcel. So as well as giving, you know, a volunteer does require to give the, the time, um, it's worthwhile and you feel as if it's a good investment of your time. Julie Fennick knows all too well what it is like to use a food bank, her local church being there for her when life became hard. The amount of money we had coming in each week had dropped by over £100, um, which left us in quite dire strait. Uh, still two young boys living at home. And it got to the point where we'd had our last meal on a Sunday after we'd been to worship, and it was um, pie and rice, and that was it. There was nothing else left in the cupboards. And my friend called, and she went, Julie, I think, do you need help, love? and that was very hard. So she took me shopping and then she got in touch with me pasta and I was invited down to food bank. To have to come to a food bank and ask for food can be an incredibly shameful thing because there's so much stigma around it. Um, and we want to come against that and say, actually our food banks are welcoming, everyone's welcome, everyone can walk in, get themselves a cup of tea and have a chat and and we you know we're we're there to listen to people um we often see ourselves as a frontline service and as another food bank session closes these volunteers head home for another day while many families in sunderland will only be dreaming of their next trip to this food bank sam blacklock reporting in sunderland